People around the world have been praying for more survivors tonight. Catholics in particular are mourning a leader who did not survive. The Archbishop of Port-au-Prince was confirmed dead today. Live in the newsroom, Ida Siegel, News 4 New York. Ida, thank you. The pictures coming into the newsroom are distressing. The disaster in Haiti directly impacts hundreds of thousands of people in our area. According to census estimates, there are about 232,000 people of Haitian origin across northern New Jersey, New York City, and Long Island. More than half live in the city alone. Tom Yamas just arrived in the Dominican Republic making his way to Haiti. He is joined by a New Yorker who is desperate, we're told, for word about his relatives. Tom? That's right, Chuck. Santo Domingo right now has become an international jumping point to get into Haiti. There's really no way to get into Haiti unless you walk across the border or if you drive. The airport has been closed and there's a shortage of helicopters in the Dominican Republic. In Santo Domingo, what we've seen so far are three types of people at the airport. Aid groups, journalists, and people like Clyde Vanell, who now joins me live. Clyde, you, you're from Cambria Heights in Queens. You've, you've come to the Dominican Republic without a plan, without a way to get into Haiti. Haiti, why are you here? Uh, I'm here to stand with my people. I'm here to uh, look for my family, look for friends' family. You know, as Haitians, we must stand and unite, and I must stand with my people. Talk to me about your family. You, you haven't been able to reach them since the quake hit? Uh, no, uh, my, my, my parents have been trying to call family. Uh, I've had friends of mine who try to call, call family, and we haven't been able to get in touch with anybody. What, what possesses someone to, to leave New York, to come here to, to the Dominican Republic and try to get into Haiti, a third world country after a massive earthquake has already rocked that, in, that entire city and that community? Uh, you know, the Haitian people are resilient people. Uh, and, uh, and being of Haitian background, we must stand and unite. And, you know, they need help. And I couldn't stand, stay home and just watch. I had to come and do something about it. How do you plan on getting in? I don't know. I don't know. You know, what we, what I'm trying to find out tonight if we can, uh, if I can find out tomorrow if we, if I can drive across or find a way to get, uh, you know, get to Port-au-Prince. Clyde, you've seen the photos, you've seen the videos out of Port-au-Prince. Uh, the numbers keep rising and rising. The death toll keeps getting higher and higher. Have you prepared yourself for the worst? Uh, I'm We you know I'll just try to do what, you know what I can when I get there. Okay. Clyde Vanell from Cambria Heights, Queens, uh, a part of New York with a very large Haitian American community. Many of those people watching this interview and probably feeling the same thing that Clyde is feeling. He's going to try to make it inside of Haiti. Hopefully tomorrow morning. The sad part about all of this is that there's probably two million to three million people with stories just like Clyde. Chuck and Sue.